we day, go. Day three. Had a great day yesterday uh, walking back from the pizza place. We did a bunch of stuff, but now we're going to go get coffee up on 3rd Street. And then after that, we are going to meet with our friends Christopher and Connor, and we're going to go check out Rhino, which is a, a company that makes gyroscopically balanced motorcycles. We're going to ride them. Money truck. I'll take it. But we are heading towards Voodoo Donuts again, although we're not getting the donut. No, no, no. This, the coffee place is on this side. We're getting coffee. Again. It's considering right. donuts. No. Again. Yeah, no. You're right. Yes, you are. You want one bad, don't you? Well, I'll tell you the one that I was thinking of having. Let me go get the name correct. Bacon cock and balls. <laughs> Another beautiful day in Portland. It's our last day. We're going to be leaving this afternoon, uh, kind of late. So we're squeezing in a bike ride until then. Christopher Hubbard from uh, Hub Filters. Uh, we are looking for a uh, good food truck. Great food truck. Great food trucks. There's hundreds of food trucks. There's tons. We need food and we need it bad. We got Connor in tow. Connor is Christopher's son. Um, what's good? Everything's good. Yeah. Okay. Food trucks originated in Portland. I believe you. Kind of went everywhere. But my Tommy gun don't. <laughs> The only vegan uh, food truck place on this in this entire city, pretty much. You ready? Heck yeah! All right. Yeah. All right. Now we've been told that the food trucks are not the place to eat, so we ended up at Killer Burger. But he left us there. Thanks to this man, uh, we almost ate something we wish we hadn't. Aww. But now we're at Killer Burger. Thank you guys for making an awesome burger, even though we haven't had it yet. You guys have had it. It's right. awesome. It's, it's killer. Awesome. It's killer. Okay, so we're just. What, what are you doing now? The Tim Famous selfie. <laughs> I'm filming the selfie. Oh, here we go. The door's locked. It's a top secret facility. Rhino Motors. Why it's called Rhino, I don't know. Say that again. We're at Rhino Motors in Beaverton, Oregon. I don't know if we're going to meet her or not, but we're uh, we're going to be hopefully riding one of these gyro bike things. Is this the, uh, because I've seen the video mm -hmm. of you riding around town? Is this the one? That yeah, that's the one that's on all the videos. Okay. I think it's got hundreds and hundreds of miles. And the ideology started from his daughter. It's a good story. I'm mean, going to use the restroom real quick. Yeah. Uh, he's going to the bathroom now. Got that, <laughs> the deal is, got that on We film. drove from Portland to Beaverton, and everyone's got to go pee. So. What we did was got to this place where like that doesn't ride, you know. Yeah. And now what? And we said, well, it's just got to got to do something, you know. But it's got to be simple. So we put steering on it, like the front of the bike. Right. And 
there's no way of knowing what would happen because it doesn't make any sense in your head. Because you can't, you're not, there's no wheel to steer. Right. Yeah. So, I mean, is it going to go this way or that way? So we just threw this thing together in a month. Yeah. And this thing took me a year almost of like beautiful machining and stuff. And we you just, just hold on for your dear life on that one. Yeah. <laughs> And then this thing, we just like added the steering, I bolted it together, none of this structure was up here. Yeah. And we loaded the software in the thing, and like we're at that place where like, all right, look, if this doesn't work, we're done. Mm -hmm. But if it works, yeah. we'll see. Yeah. So I got on this thing, and in 15 minutes, I'm riding around my neighborhood like it was all right. What interestingly it's about happened is, it, w the way it really works, it, do it doesn't steer. What you're doing is you're rolling the tire over on its side, so it will track. Okay. So the, the whole thing about, uh, one wheel is you, you roll the tire on its side and it will go in a radius, right? Right, right? But the other thing that you're doing is I'm twisting the handlebar, so I'm keeping my center of gravity over the patch. Mm -hmm. So while I'm turning, I'm actually staying over uh, the patch where the tire touches the ground. Wow. So I'm not steering the bike really, I'm actually articulating the wheel and frame relationship. And how, how long does it take? for someone when they first get on to be able to run It's it. like an hour. You know, it, it takes uh, you know, kind of 15 minutes to kind of like you get your head around it. Yeah. And then it takes about a half an hour of like a triangle error, trial and error, trial and error. And then yeah. by the time you get past that place where I think I've got it, I usually get on another rhino right next to them and mm -hmm. we just start going around the industrial park. Yeah. yeah. So when you when you turn this thing on, does it <coughs> adjust itself? Yeah. yeah, just like you just bring it up. So it's on and then you just hit the balance button. Yeah, so, you know, it's like I can do a, I can do a push up. Wow. <laughs> can I sit on it? So, can I sit on it without going through the window? Yeah, sure. Let me just do it over here. Throw your leg over it. Right. I always scoot forward a little bit. There you go. Wow, so, that is really sweet. And it's just gentle. It doesn't do anything you want, want it to do. And, you know. oh, it doesn't. Although it does go back if I'm leaning too. I'm just back forward to... a little bit. Oh. So we're going to hit the Rose Garden, big famous Rose Garden in, here in Portland. Kathy's leading the way. <laughs> This is the Japanese garden. Very cool. I'm just letting those people get ahead of me. You need to work out with Hillary more. I know. Huh. Watch your step. We're wrapping our trip up. We're heading to the airport. 
A big thanks to Chevrolet for hooking us up with this Chevy Trax. It's a really, really cool car. Um, simple SUV, um, really great design. I like the interior a lot. Yeah. And we're going to fly back via Alaska Airlines, which is cool also. Great flight going coming up. Should be great going back. And we'll be back in the boo in no time. I wish I could snap my fingers. Oh, wait. There we are. Wow, that was simple. I know. Alaska Airlines, they're very fast. <laughs> We're back in LA and we're heading back up to the boo. We're done, Portland done, uh, on to the next big adventure. That's right. All right, time to go home. <laughs> <laughs>